Go up the swim through down the No, there. I'm going to avoid the swim through on yeah, the first one. Avoid the swim through. I'm going to go here. Ah, I know where that will Yeah, okay. Mine is about 45. Okay, um, so yeah, welcome to Mixing Bowl. Mixing Bowl is a little Cayman classic. It's one of the top dive sites, I'd say. It's one of the ones we generally get requested quite a lot. So um, just to give you an idea, we are on the north side of Little Cayman in the Bloody Bay Marine Park. So a lot of people talk about the Bloody Bay Wall. Uh, and pretty much the whole park has this beautiful wall running down it. And the topography varies quite quite dramatically. There's lots of different changes, lots of different dive sites we can go to. Um, and this one is the mixing of the Jackson Bight area, um, which is the, has this sort of sandy boulevard. You can almost, if you've got polarized glasses, you can see this blue strip, yeah? The lighter blue color kind of running up either side of the dark blue. So that is the, we call it the boulevard, the sandy boulevard that kind of goes through. And then to the west of us, we have what we call the sheer wall section, which is basically just hard pan and then drops off into the abyss. So it's really, really cool. Um, and this is the mixing of both of them. So you have the sheer wall section with the beginning of that, of that mini wall and, and sandy boulevard. It used to be called three fathom wall because the mooring pin is about 18 feet, so six feet to a fathom. Uh, and then the boat is kind of moored up over this hard pan area, which is really shallow, as I said, maybe 18, 20 feet, getting towards the edge of the wall, which is just behind our stern. Um, that'll be about 30 feet and then again just drop it off into the blue. So there is this cool little cut that Louise, the boat's kind of swing around, so it might not be directly like this, um, but there's this cool cut that Louise is going to start bringing you down away from about 30 and bring you off the wall. And I'm going to take a right hand shoulder, so we're basically going to be coming across over here on the wall. Now it's a maximum depth of 110 feet, but as I mentioned, it's not a challenge. We tend to go over 75. So they're just starting to, they, we've got a lot of nests around the island and they'll just show up for this time of year, they'll mate, lay their eggs and they'll do that multiple times over the season. So loggerheads are brilliant, they're pretty Jurassic looking aren't they? They've got the big heads and the thick necks and they kind of swim directly at you. So, um, so really, really cool. But generally we get a lot of turtles, maybe some sharks out in the blue as well. Um, keep an eye out along the wall. We perhaps get big lobsters crawling around. We sometimes get the spiny lobsters, spiny Caribbean lobsters. Um, and then generally, we're just gonna sort of meander following the, uh, the undulation in and out of the, of the topography. Uh, and then these are actually cuts. So you can come up one of the cuts if you like. That'll be pretty cool. Or if you want, you could just come on top of the reef. Because these fingers, especially over here, are really, really fishy. So lots of uh, schooling mahogany snappers, maybe some grunt fish, um, perhaps some schooling goat fish. Just loads of life on top. And then uh, Louise tends to make her way, and she loves the rubble area. So she spends a lot of time in this. This is rubble, this is sand. Um, and the rubble area, you'll find a lot of um, yellow-headed jawfish. Do you guys know them? Yep. They kind of look like a little ghost that come out of their hole, and then they tuck themselves back in their hole. So for here, for some reason, cause they, I suppose because there's so many divers, they're not very shy, are they? They'll come right out of the hole. There we go. Mm -hmm. yep. So And they... And they um, and they swim really quite far out, further out than they used to, because I used to live on Grand and, and they were very shy in Grand, but here they just come out. And what you want to do, you want to look for the, the males. The males have two lines underneath their chin or their jaw. Um, and the males are typically the, well, the males are the ones that hold the eggs. So if you see two lines and the fact that it's got his mouth open, go closer, more than likely going to have um, eggs in the mouth. So don't ask me how they fertilize, I'm not sure. <laughs> we won't go into uh, the, uh, the life of a jawfish, uh, you know, whatever you're into. But, uh, uh, but then what Mixing they do, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but what they do, they store their eggs under, so they excavate this little home they live in, and then they keep the eggs down there. But then they do also need to oxygenate the eggs and make sure they're, they're fresh of algae and because the water's quite stagnant down there. So they bring them up in the mouth and sometimes they spit them out 
and they roll around in the second back as well. So it's really, really cool. Very special if you see them, but they are quite shy, obviously, because they're protected, they're young. Uh, but loads of cool things, lots of Queen Kong, um, and underneath the sand, you, you get quite a few sudden stingrays that tuck themselves in, they sort of bury themselves in the sand. And then um, eventually you come to, this is a sort of a mini wall. So you imagine this being like a mini wall on the other side. And again, this is just really, really fishy. Just lots of fish, lots of Bermuda chub kind of swimming around. Um, so I spent a decent amount of time just hovering, you know, right at the end of the dive, just hovering around here, really taking it all in. It's very, very pretty. Uh, and then making your way back to the morning, of course, for uh, 50 minutes. So it's a 110 foot maximum depth dive with a 50 minute, including your safety stop. But this is kind of safety stop range, so it's really nice just to hang out and offload, off gas by there. So. so that is it. Louise is going to be in the water. Would you like to add anything, Louise? Everyone happy with those buddy pairs we discussed on the yeah, journey? Yeah, buddy pairs, yeah, everybody yeah, know where they're at with that.